Uh, oh, there you are. Hey, Patrick. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, just wanted to ask, you know, what was different about tonight? You guys have gone into, um, you guys have lost leads before. What were you guys able to do tonight? Um, what's it say about you guys that you were able to not kind of fall prey again? Well, we, um, for the most part, I thought we kept our composure. We could have easily uh, let go of the rope once we went, once we went down, even when at the end of the game, we made so many mistakes to give them, uh, to tie the game. We didn't put our head down and then coming into the overtime, they went out, I think, by five or six. And we, we still kept our composure, kept, still kept fighting. I thought my, uh, my freshmen did an outstanding job. Both Dante and TJ did an outstanding job. Uh, Dante in a starting role and TJ coming off the bench, giving us a huge lift. Okay, next we'll be going to John Fanta from the Big East Digital Network. Patrick, congratulations. Just to go a step further on Dante, what stood out to you the most about the job he did? Everything. He ran the club. He made big shots. He, uh, even though he on, they only got, have him down here for two assists, I had more assists than that. I just thought he played it. In, for, for a large stretch of the game, I didn't think he played like a freshman, even though he did make some, some freshman mistakes. Uh, but I thought he did an outstanding job. He, he made some big shots, uh, you know, did an outstanding job on the defensive end, took care of the ball for the most part. You know, he still had three turnovers, but he, he, played, a, he played a great game. What did you think of Q? Hey, Q, nine block shots. That's Matombo Ewing morning uh, uh, numbers right there. Still has a lot, a lot of work that he has to do, though. Um, he had 17 points. I thought he should have had more than nine rebounds. We need him not only to get offensive rebounds, he has to have defensive rebound also. But I thought for the most part, he did a great job. Those nine block shots, I was cursing him out, but then I wanted to kiss him because when he, when he gave up that free throw rebound, I was cursing him out, but he made that huge block uh, to seal the game for us. Okay, we'll go to Ron Bailey from Rivals in the HoyerReport.com. Coach, congratulations. Um, Blair kind of struggled for large parts of the game, came on strong. Even when he was struggling, you got you didn't run a lot of targeted offense with him with like pin downs or floppy, anything like that, um, pistol. You kind of charged him to create his own offense. Is that a testament to his development since he's been on the hilltop? Maybe you guys. Uh, well, uh, you're giving him. You give him. You give him. You're giving him a lot of credit. Did not <laughs> tonight. I wanted to strangle his butt. Um, no, you know the, the way that they played. They made it a, a helter skelter game. They picked up full court. They, you know, so by the time we got it across half court, we couldn't run a lot of the things that we wanted to run. So, you know, we we were just playing. We what we call play the game. Just playing, you know, uh, pass, move, cut. Set pick and roll. They're trying to do all those other those things to to create uh, action and create motion, ball body mo uh, movement to try to get an offense. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We have Aiden Kern from Hilltop Hoops. Hey, coach. Um, kind of a weird uh, schedule this season. You, your next game is against St. John's on Sunday. What what is that going to be like in terms of what do you, what adjustments do you want to see? Um, you know, this this next uh, week or so to head into that next game to work on. Well, we have a lot to work on. Um, again, we, we turned the ball over 70 times. That's one of the things that they do extremely well. They kicked our butts on the glass. We have to do a much better job of rebounding the basketball. Um, now, we can't make the mental mistakes, especially there that we made here. Uh, we had the game uh, pretty much in hand. And then we just stopped playing at the end, and, and uh, Javon just let, uh, I forgot who it was, sneak in there and, and tie the game up. You know, all these plays, we have to be, if we want to be good and want to uh, hopefully play in the, in the tournament, we have to, we cannot make these mistakes. Okay, we have Patrick Waring from the Nuts and Bolts Sports Hour. Hey, Coach, just kind of talking about what you have. Um, got the win tonight, of course, but just, Looking on the season so far, it's been kind of a mixed bag with, with, with different things. Um, are you close to kind of figuring out what you have with this team yet, like in terms of personnel, lineups, and kind of who, uh, who this team is? 
But we're still learning each other and we're still growing. You know, I'm not going to know that probably till uh, when the season is over. I'm just joking. Hopefully, you know, soon. But I do, you know, my freshmen, they're, they're, they're doing a, a great job. You know, uh, Kobe Clark was doing a great job before he got hurt. Dante's doing a great job. He, you know, he was able to do a great job for us tonight. TJ Berger, this is the second uh, game that he's that he's played extremely well for us. Um, we need our, our upperclassmen to be, uh, to do better. It's, you know, stop turning the ball over as much and, and making make the right decision. But I think we have, and then unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Timothy Ego Hefe um, more than five minutes. But um, both him and and they're an integral part of our team. Okay, we have time for two final questions. We have jo uh, Roman Peregrino from the Georgetown Voice. Hey, Coach. Um, when Jalen returns, uh, is he guaranteed a starting spot? No one's guaranteed any anything. Life and what is it? Death and taxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And our final question tonight goes to Kareem Copeland from the Washington Post. Actually, to ask, to pick up on that, I was just going to ask, what's the official uh, word on Jalen and uh, what happened? Back spasms. Back spasms. Where did that come from, or just out of the blue? Um. He had some. He had it last game towards the end of the game. Uh, that's why we took him out when we did. Um, but uh, it's been like that the last couple of days. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to have a quick break before we bring in the players, and we will. Hey, Q. Congratulations, y'all. Um, take us through that last play. Gave up the rebound, but came back with the block. Can you just uh, tell us what happened there? Yeah, um, I mean, I guess I have to work on um, Finn for that, but I feel like I could have um, boxed out better to get run. Um, that was just a mistake on my part. But I'm glad I got it, I got it blocked, though. Okay, and now we'll go to John Fanta from the Big East Sigil Network. Donald, what was unleashed from this Georgetown team tonight after a couple of, of efforts where you led? You couldn't close tonight. You did, and you got your first Big East win. What was what was unleashed from this Georgetown team? Um, I'm just really proud of the guys and how we fought through all the adversity that was going on. Some calls didn't go our way. We made some mistakes. Um, game went into overtime, but we at the end we just found a way to win. And I think that's what championship level teams do. They come together and just find a way to win when everything's not going your way. Kudis, uh, I just just wanted to get your thought. Uh, your head coach, Coach Ewing, just said that tonight was Matumbo Ewing morning-like. You know, when you hear your name brought up with, with those types of names, what pops in your head? I feel, I feel so happy, you know, like, I feel like my, um, my artwork is like showing out there, you know, uh, my ability to learn and learn from Coach Ewing is showing, and I'm just, I'm just happy, yeah. Okay, we have Ron Bailey from Rivals in the Hoy Report. John, uh, how you doing? Um, talk about you, Berger, Harris. You guys were able to step up big time when some, some of the seniors weren't producing. How does that feel? How did you prepare to step up in that manner? And are you willing to know, you know, you, you set your bar pretty high, so are you going to be able to meet this performance going forward? Um, well, first and foremost, I'm proud of the guys that came off the bench. Um, Dante, he, he actually had to start because Jalen Harris was out. Um, I'm just proud how they produced. They they gave us a spark off the bench. Um, and like I said before, our overall performance, when things weren't going for, you know, the guys who usually have it going for us, other guys stepped up, and that's what championship level teams do. So I think we found something there. Easy game, easy day. We just, you know, get better. Um, in terms of me and my performance, um, I know I just stay in, stay in attack mode and make plays for myself and others, then we'll be in good shape. When I'm aggressive, I think that's when I'm at my best. So. This night, I think I just scored a little bit more than usual. And this Berger guy, he's known as a shooter, but he also was able to find people for some key shots. Talk about that. Definitely. TJ not just a shooter. I don't, I don't really like labeling um, him. I want to label him as a shooter. He makes good plays. His IQ is very high. Um, I, the public will get to know that the more he makes plays um, offensively and defensively. But he's just a playmaker out there. He can hit big-time shot, big time shots and also make big-time plays. Thank you. Patrick Waring from the Nuts and Bolts Sports Hour. Hey, Q, like, like John just mentioned, uh, your coach 
he uh, uh, put you in in a big company, you know, as far as the big man in Georgetown history. Uh, during the course of a game, I mean, you're rejecting shots, you're on a glass, you're making plays. Um, are you just down there trying to handle business in the paint, or do, uh, do you realize what's going on during the course of the game as, as far as stats, or are you just trying to handle business? Yeah, I don't really care about the start. I'm just trying to run the business and do whatever I can do um, to to get a win. You know, if it's to block shot or rebound or score in the paint, you just have to do it. Okay, we'll go to Roman Peregrino from the Georgetown Boys. Kudos. Um, I noticed you made several plays throughout the game that kind of bailed out your teammates when they made some mistakes. How does it feel to be able to have the back of your teammates on the court? Feel I think um, right team. So um, we, I'm not just gonna let um, the point guard um, play defense by himself. Whenever I can help, I always tell them in the game, I gotta help. I gotta help. So I have to help whenever I can. Our final question tonight goes to Aiden Curran from Hilltop Hoops. Hey Don, this question's for you. Um, you guys have had uh, turnover issues to start the season. You had 17 tonight. Um, you know, how did you guys? How do you feel that you guys handled the press of St. John's um, tonight? And and what do you what do you think uh, needs to improve for you guys to clean up the turnovers move forward? Um, that's definitely something that we need to address in the future. Uh, I think tonight we just kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Um, kind of some. It was a lot of unforced turnovers um, on our behalf. So those things we have to fix, and it starts in practice, but. Like I said, even with those mistakes, we still found a way to win, but that doesn't mean it doesn't stop here. It's not the end all be all. Just going to keep improving each practice, each game, each day. Thanks. No okay. Thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate it. And congratulations on the great win tonight. Thank you. Thank you to everyone.